The government's promising to stamp out unfairness in the health system, releasing hundreds of pages of strategies for how it will achieve that. But the equity-adjusted tool that clinicians devised to address in, in, inequalities and inequities for Māori and Pacifica is still on hold. It's being reviewed after the opposition attacked it. Here's political reporter Amelia Wade. A huge promise from the health minister about the future of health care. Unfair differences in health outcomes between population groups become a thing of the past. The government today unveiled plans to address the unfairness faced by women, disabled people, rural communities, Pacifica and Māori. A whopping 401 pages of strategy. To get out of the situation of every winter bringing its pressures, we have to set a high-level long-term goal of reorientating our health care towards prevention. The case for change could not be clearer, especially for Māori. The strategy puts it here in black and white. Racism is a root cause of health inequity. It will take a decade to even slightly reduce the death gap between Māori and non-Māori from seven years to six. We certainly aim to close that gap. The advice we got when we did the uh, uh, smoke-free reform was that that could close the gap by two years. Māori also languish on surgical wait lists, so a team of clinicians came up with an algorithm to address that. The equity-adjusted tool moves people up the surgical wait list depending on first, clinical need, then on factors like where they live, their deprivation and ethnicity. But after that hit the headlines and suffered attacks from the opposition, the government put it on ice to review it. Are you just kicking the can down the road until after the election on this? Uh, no, what we are doing is saying that we are going to evaluate whether or not this tool works. Not just priority surgery under attack from national, language too. At a meeting in Nelson yesterday, Christopher Luxon was questioned about bilingual kura school signs. We want some action. Yeah. Yeah, well, mate, well, the first thing you've got to do, buddy, is you've got to vote October the 14th to get me in there to government. Promising the crowd he will change the Māori names of government agencies. And so I am of the view that we should rename our government departments in English so that people can navigate their government. Even though the agencies he mentions already have both English and Te Reo Māori names. Would there be less uh, Te Reo under your government? Uh, no, not necessarily. I'm someone who's, who's really wanting to learn te reo and I keep learning it, you know, each, you know regularly and, and trying to improve. Luxon's slowly learning that everything he says in public meetings requires an explanation. Amelia Wade, News Hub.